Good morning. It's Friday, March 10th. Thanks for tuning in to Top Story. Click the like and subscribe button below, then head over to the full World Watch show. Now, this is Top Story. Hey, Bash, don't forget, we spring forward this weekend for daylight savings time. And can't be late for church. Ah, that's right. Thanks for the reminder. But I'm wondering, with the Sunshine Protection Act reintroduced in Congress, will that be the last time that we have to adjust for the clock? Who knew? I've always wondered. Oh, oh, I never knew that. Talk about a mystery song. Wow. World Watch wonders. What's the fuss about daylight saving? In a few days, Americans will spring forward and lose an hour of sleep. Except Hawaii and Arizona. They don't play along. But could this year be the last time we fuss with the hour button? Don't count on it. It's not that simple to get rid of the time change. But that's nothing new. Daylight saving has always been a point of contention. The United States first implemented daylight saving time during World War I as a way to conserve energy resources. With more sunlight, people would spend time outdoors instead of being inside using electricity, watching television, operating appliances, and whatnot. But ever since then, DST has been repealed and reinstated a number of times. In 1973, it was made permanent. At first, it was popular, but soon Americans started to worry about traffic accidents and the safety of children going to school in the dark. So in 1974, Gerald Ford signed a bill to extend standard by several months. Regular time then began the second Sunday in March and ended the first Sunday in November. And here we go again, the Sunshine Protection Act, which passed the Senate before hitting a brick wall in the House last year, is again before Congress, and it would do away completely with the twice a year time changes. So far, it's seen some support and has been referred to the Committee on Commerce, Science and Transportation. Polls show that 60% of Americans wanted to do away with daylight saving. How about you? Nope. No. Yes. Yes? Absolutely not. Yes. Well, it looks like I'm the deciding vote and I'm gonna vote Headlines can be scary. Talking about them with kids doesn't have to be. Introducing Concurrently, the News Coach podcast from God's World News. Let's teach children with calm discernment. Remember, you can watch the full show free for a week, folks. Just go to worldwatch.news forward slash free video. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm the Big Bash. Remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.